I offer my love like a soldier offering food to the hungry from behind the barrel of his gun. And unfortunately for all of us, I'm not the only one. But no one questions your integrity when you wear your heart on your sleeve. Very few of us will notice the bulletproof armor underneath. But it's getting sweaty under my t-shirt. It's getting heavy to carry around. I've tried letting go and surrendering, but this armor's weighing me down. Yes, it's the misguided belief that preemptive protection brings relief that keeps us defensive and armed. See, it's only the faith and the perceived probability that will do each other harm that keeps us in a cold war of good intentions, filling our arms with weapons when they were only meant for holding. The irony astounds me. Yet somehow we have found each other in this war zone of our defenses, trying to love each other from across barbed wire fences, afraid to use the narrative of first person present tenses. See, even when I retreat to the safety of no man's land, I still find it hard to understand how I can take off this bulletproof vest when the chances of total disarmament appear so low. But I've been in this battle long enough and it's getting harder and harder to pretend I don't know that I am suffering. That this protective uniform buffering me from the sting of combat is just an illusion I put on that made me comfortable in the beginning. But the longer and longer I keep highlighting our divisions and pinning things down, the more my head keeps spinning. But I am listening to the sound of love trying to cut through. Trying to cut through because through the haze of endless days of protection keeping myself safe, I hear love calling me like a hungry child running toward the food I carry in my hands. But love is wise and it never responds to conditions and demands. So I've got to raise my arms up high, drop my weapons, expose my chest, show love that I am willing to invest in human connections without the protection that keeps us blinking and missing true perception. It takes courage to walk th naked through the jungle in a world where aggression reigns supreme. But the morning is coming, and this war is only a bad dream. There is so much at stake when you refuse to acknowledge that you are awake. I've been risking my life for lines drawn in sand by the fear, confusion, and ego of man. But these lines can fade by the gentle breath of every wave. So I vow to be brave enough to let my armor fall apart and let you see not a singular identity but a naked human heart. Okay, so while the judges are putting their scores together, I'm just going to tell you that I asked everybody a question.